your first alert weather with meteorologist Eric Burke. All right, Eric Burke, 1216. Um, another warm day out there. A little bit of cloud cover, hopefully helping feel a little bit cooler, but um, helps about this a much. little bit. A <laughs> hot weekend in store. Yeah, um, good news. Not as brutal as what mm -hmm. we thought it was going to be. Now still potentially dangerous if you're out there for any extended period of time. The heat index will be over 100 degrees for both Saturday and Sunday. Thankfully, we do have some clouds moving in. Might even see some rain showers and storms at points of Saturday afternoon and Sunday. Of course, we'll get Get to that weekend forecast here in a second, but a big weekend out there in Marshall County, Gunnersville going to be a pretty happening place down there at City Harper, our uh, Harbor. Our Sarah Grace Kennedy was there this morning, giving you the rundown of all the events for Hydro Fest weekend. We've got a couple boats out there. Not sure that boat can compete with the hydro boats that have the jet engines on the back, but uh, always a great event. If you're visiting, welcome. Welcome to the Tennessee Valley. A weekend forecast looks like this. Temperatures we initially had upper 90s, lowered them a bit yesterday evening. 94 your high tomorrow, 93 on Sunday. But when you factor in the dew point in the set, 70s. Each day is going to feel anywhere like 99 to maybe 103, 104 there for your Sunday. Better chance of seeing some scattered storms popping up tomorrow. Let's talk about the humidity. You can feel it out there right now. The dew point is about 71 to 73, depending on where you reside here in North Alabama or Middle Tennessee. And notice the colors get brighter and brighter, especially by Sunday. This is uh, probably a dew point in the mid to upper 70s. That's that air you can wear wet wraps around you like a warm wet blanket. That's what we're dealing with on Sunday, and that's why the heat index is going to be so uncomfortable. Good news, really the only day next week that is uh, pretty promising, and that's going to be your Monday. A little bit drier air starts to filter in. High temperatures will be in the low to mid 90s, but then our southerly flow returns by Tuesday. That raises our feels like temperatures, and that hot, humid air mass stays in place all the way through 4th of July and likely even beyond that. So feels like temperatures tomorrow, upper 90s to lower 100s. Is it heat advisory criteria? Not necessarily, but still potentially dangerous. Heat precautions will need to be taken. Make sure you're drinking plenty of water. If you do any yard work, try and do it in the morning hours on Saturday or Sunday or at around sunset. But feels like temps 102, 103, 104 there for Sunday. By Monday, like I said, best day under 10 day forecast feels like temps in the low to mid 90s. And then look what happens as we go into Tuesday. Unfortunately, Tuesday, Wednesday, 4th of July will all look just like that. As far as that heat index or feels like temperature can't roll out a few stray showers for the rest of the afternoon through about sunset. The models have kind of been favoring areas towards Sand Mountain. So Marshall Jackson to Cab County. We are seeing a mix of sun and clouds out there. Temperatures will continue to warm up. If you see rainfall today, great. I don't anticipate anticipate any stronger storms coming in today. Uh, maybe just some thunder and lightning. We'll start off tomorrow morning dry. We are mostly sunny to partly cloudy. Look what happens though as early as lunchtime already tracking some pop up showers and storms that will continue as we go through Saturday afternoon and evening. This will be very hit and miss just like what we saw on Wednesday and also on Thursday watching the tropics. Of course, in particular, this one wave 90% chance of development over the next two days and week, and that's when we're watching close as it's intensifying and moving toward the windward islands. Looks like it could swing into the Caribbean and maybe even the Gulf. So we'll keep you updated on that, but hot, humid weekend ahead, dodging some storms both days.